Hello, boys and girls. Now it's time for another six movies for Christmas. Because, why not get your hot chocolate, turn on your Christmas tree lights, and just enjoy the brutal massacre of what is tree venge. I am Paul Dolsky. And I am Tessa Baker. And, well, let's get into this. So this is a 16-minute short comedy horror film, which was released in July of 2008 in Canada. And, well, it's about Christmas trees ripped out of their forest, plan revenge against people enjoying the holidays. And let's just leave it as that, as we go right into it. So, babe, you were, um, seemed like you have never seen this before. I thought you did a long time ago when we, uh, when I did a review I probably for did a long time ago, but I think I just needed a refresher, but it's still... It's still interesting to watch, even if it is, like, a second time or whatever. But, yeah, uh, interesting point of view from the, the Christmas tree, the, the tree's perspective. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if, if trees could literally, you know, see and hear and talk like they do in this movie, I think we would all be in, well, big trouble, I think. Well, maybe not you and I, because we do the... Uh, we have artif we have an artificial Christmas tree, so yeah. I think we're safe. I think we're safe for now. But, so, where to begin with this? Like, I don't even know where to begin uh, with this. So, we'll talk about the lumberjack that first are gathering the trees, and, you oh, know... Oh, you mean the over... The foul mouth... The foul mouth over-enthused, like, way too excited about chopping down trees. Oh, yeah. Lumberjacks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those guys were a little too into it. Oh, very much. So, like, even there, you start to see, like, these trees just shaking in their branches. Their roots. Roots. And, um... It, it gets even more interesting when, like, a sapling is crushed by a big lumberjack's foot. He just and, purposely stomps on it. Yep. And, like, get dragged out through the snow to get ready to be bought to become a Christmas tree. And even then, like, we see two trees trying to, like, hold each other. Where? Like, don't let go! Don't let go! Like, communicating with each other, like, as if it were two humans. Like, don't let go! No! And they get separated and everything, and one gets torched. Yep. And the other one gets sent off to be made into... Sent off to, like, a Christmas tree thing to be bought. Yep. And then, well, then we get... The people that would go and buy the trees and bring them up into their house and string them up with lights and stuff. And, well, um... Oh, not just that, though. When they would get to, like, the tree the tree farm where they'd be bought by people to be brought home, any of them that were messed up or weren't suitable enough for buying, or they would make into, like, a reef or something. So they'd further butcher and mutilate these trees down even further chop them down even smaller and make them into wreaths and stuff so you can imagine at this point that the uh, trees are pretty angry now as paul was saying i kind of forgot you got you got the they get them home they decorate them yep and then we saw like one of the trees was watching tv like with the people and i think that's where the butcher or the flame of one happened or at least something kind of would fire in the background hap occurred on the television with the tree took notice obviously oh <laughs> so, and then it get like really the most interesting part in the whole film where the trees finally just freak out and start killing everybody yeah they legitly like lash out christmas morning and every house that they're all in just going through and butchering the human families. Yep. And it just gets very creative, really. I mean, it gets, like, a tree grabbed onto a lady and, like, 
basically like tree hugs or some shit going on. It's, and it's pretty interesting to then watch. Then like a Christmas uh, tree the boyfriend is basically like freaking out about all this, and wow, I think he's getting like uh, tangled up into the tree, and we got the famous line of "Do something, you bitch." And uh, the tree basically just, like, you know, grabbed the girl as well. And then, well, these are the type of uh, They couples. become shish kebobbed together. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice way of putting it. Yeah, it's a nice way of putting it. They literally get shish kebobbed through eye socket, mouth hole, to the point that they're brought together to look like they're kissing. Basically. But they're dead. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's hilarious. And then we we'll talk about going outside, where the tree massacre galore is going on around the street. There, um, I mean, you got a lot of about a like a lot of everything going on. Really, you got like trees that are like trying to drag a person off this pole, basically, and. We get one that I think is, like, raping some guy behind, like, a snowbank or something. I don't know what the hell is going on, but something is going something on. Something really um, bad is going on. We got, like, people freaking out. <laughs> and... People getting dragged down the street. People getting, like, murdered in the street. And a lot of screaming, a lot of blood. Yep, and then, well, the tree remembered that their sapling got stepped on, so at the very end, they, on. Big time. they, uh, they kind of reversed that onto a, uh, kid. Onto a baby, a human baby. And Which, I'll admit, that's pretty brutal, but I, I understand the reason why they did it, but still, that's... Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. But yeah, they did it just because they got, one of theirs got stepped on by a lumberjack, so... They felt, oh, let's we're gonna you know, do it in eye return. for an eye. Let's be even. Then yeah, the only the only thing I felt bad for in that entire movie was that baby. I felt bad for nobody else in that movie except for the baby that got stomped on in the end. Oh yeah, but if you guys are looking for something really short, sixteen minute little film that is hilarious, would kill her Christmas tree. You need to look up Treevenge on YouTube. Otherwise, look in the description below for the YouTube link so you can watch it yourself. Also, remember that this was quite old. So, this is 2008. This is a 12-year-old film. So, the quality isn't great and it's not full screen. But, you got to remember technology back then was way different than it is now in 2020. So... Just remember that. Otherwise, have fun with it. It's, it's definitely going to brighten your Christmas tree. And hopefully, as you listen to this, your Christmas tree is not plotting against you if you have a real one. So, think about that. Maybe you might want to switch to that fake tree because, you know, it might save your ass. <laughs> and, uh, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this little small little tree venge episode. Like we said, check it out. For your good holiday Christmas tree uh, fun. Brutality. <laughs> that too. So until next time, I was Paul Dalski. And I'm Tessa Baker. And as always, we want you to stay, stay scary. scary.